Good morning. My name is Jessica. I'm one of the pastors here at Twin Lakes, and it's great to be joining you today for the Daily Video Devo. You know, a few weeks ago in our church newsletter, I shared verses from James, um, and I've just been thinking about them since then. And the verses were this. It's from James 1, 19 to 20, and it says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. And you know what? Since those verses, every time I read those, they're really convicting. Um, I shared this in the newsletter also, but I am slow to listen and quick to speak and all too often quick to become angry. And it's something that I'm working on and that I need to change. And, um, you know, as I think about it and I become more aware of it, I catch myself interrupting people and sometimes I cut them off because I think I know what they're going to say and so I'm like oh I'll just save us all time and respond now instead of hearing you out and honestly that's just kind of rude and inconsiderate um, and other times I think like oh I don't want to forget what I'm going to say and so instead of listening to what they have to say I'm thinking about my response and I respond too early and I don't really listen to them. And whatever the reason that I interrupt or cut people off, it leads to frustration. You know, like when you're cut off and people aren't listening to you, you get frustrated, right? You don't feel heard. You don't feel valued. And so I'm really trying to be better at listening. And kind of surprisingly, Logan, my two and a half year old, is teaching me about listening. You know, he, um, you wouldn't think two and a half year olds are great examples of good listeners. And I do have to say that he doesn't listen when we want him to necessarily, but when he's super into something, he listens so intently that it's actually pretty amazing. For example, he's been super into the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf recently to the point that we're listening to it every morning on repeat, it takes about five minutes per story. And then in the car this last weekend, all the way to Twin Lakes and back, he wanted me to retell the story over and over and over and over again. I don't know how many times I've heard the story or told the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf in the last week or so. But then when he gets to church, he runs in and he starts telling the story, right? So he is listening. He's listening intently and he's listening to learn. And I think I need to listen like that. I need to listen to other people in my life like that. And like I said, it's something I need to do and it's something that I'm learning from him. And so I just want to say, to share two things about listening. One, we need to know who we're listening to, right? We have so much noise in our lives and so many things coming at us. And all too often, we're maybe listening to the wrong things or listening to things that solicit a different response in us than we want. Um, I know I have had to kind of moderate what podcasts I listen to because some of them, even though the content is great, um, the emotional reaction, like I find myself getting angry. And so I need to listen to, even if it has the same content, somebody else that presents things in a calmer manner. And ultimately we need to first listen to God, right? We need to listen to what God has for us. And we need to tune ourselves to listen to him, to take a few minutes every day and say, okay, God, what do you have for me today? Um, and just like we are quick to speak in conversation, we are often quick to speak in prayer. And so I encourage you today to take some time to listen to God. And also one other thing about listening is that when you sit with somebody who really listens to you, who doesn't bother to interrupt, who you feel is fully present and fully engaged, you feel valued and you feel loved. And that is something that we can communicate to other people when we take the time to sit. When we actually listen, we're not thinking about how am I going to respond or what am I going to say or what do I have to do next? We are present and listening and that is a gift and it communicates value and it communicates love. So today, number one, try to carve out some time to listen to God. And number two, as you go about your day, just be aware of who you're listening to and of who maybe is in your life that needs your presence, needs your real uninterrupted listening ears on so that they feel valued and loved. So thank you for listening to my Devo today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.